guys welcome back to pennies and salt tonight yes it is night so that's how i roll i guess slow torture i am going to get my batch cooking on um some freezer cooking and just cooking for this week and i've already got some of it out behind me ready to go but i'm gonna turn the camera around and give you the lowdown on what exactly we are working on tonight all right, guys, before we get so far into this, I want to introduce our host for this collaboration today, Erica Lucas. You have got to check out her channel. She's got fabulous content over there. She's inspired me so much to downsize all of my crazy clutter from being a mom of six kids. So go check out the playlist below. There's lots of other great channels involved as well. And thank you, Erica, for hosting this today. All right, so this is what I've got going here. I have listed where I'm gonna be cooking these things. It is loud in the background. I've got kids picking up Legos, kids, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> this pasta, spaghetti sauce, whatever you want to call it going. Um, so I have a pound of sweet Italian sausage going with a pound of All right, so I'm gonna pop up a card right here to a previous video that I shared where I tell you exactly how you can make this spaghetti sauce. It's super simple and it's really good and it has definitely become a family favorite. Okay, so I am going to be doubling the amount of taco meat that I make, and I'm going to be using one pound of deer meat, one pound of ground beef, a can of drained corn, and a can of drained and rinsed black beans, and that just helps it stretch a little more. I want to be able to put some in the freezer, um, already cooked, just so when we have knots, when we need quick meals, or want to make taco soup or something like that we can just pull it out real quickly and it's one less step that we have to take so I'm gonna give you a little large family tip here this is something I do to make things stretch is I add in some black beans and some corn to our taco meat and it makes it go much farther so I have my meat for the tacos going over here um, my taco seasoning waiting and I did decide to go ahead and double this but I did not double the meat um, but it trust me it'll have plenty of meat so um, this is an extra large batch of spaghetti sauce so there should be lots for those days when I just don't have time or want to take time to babysit and cook it all day
annihilated half of this with our dinner. So I am going to take half of, well, I don't know. Um, yeah, half of this half and put it in a Ziploc and freeze it. And then the other I'm going to keep in the fridge to use throughout the week as leftovers, but also to make quesadillas for lunches. So this will more than likely, well, this will be going in the freezer and will more than likely be used for taco soup. So there is, a, just batch cooking is really easy. Um, all you do is just double things, things that can be used for multi-purpose. I like to do this um, just because it cuts down on your cook time and it's really helpful in those times when you just need to grab and throw it in. so it's been a few days since I did that big batch and freezer cook and it has come in super handy this week because I have not felt like doing a lot of cooking so doing it all on the front end has helped a lot now I'm gonna take what is left of the chicken that I made the other night I'm gonna shred it up and make one of our family favorite meals it's so fast so easy it's just some chicken fried rice and I'm gonna make a double batch of it so we have half of it for leftovers or we might freeze it. We'll probably just eat it as leftovers because it is a favorite and it goes pretty fast around here. So I'm gonna spin the camera around and show you how we do it. Okay, so I have shredded up some of the chicken and cut up some onion and we've got some butter and olive oil going in here and I'm gonna pour in some frozen veggies with the chicken and some soy sauce and get some chicken fried rice going. So as far as rice, I actually had some brown jasmine rice and whoops, and some um, white basmati rice left over. Um, I was just trying to use the rest of it, so I made both, but they cook differently, so that's why they're in two different pots. So we're gonna use both. We're making a double batch of this anyway, so that I have one batch to freeze for a future meal. And so, the vegetables and the chicken, the vegetables and the chicken are over here cooking, just letting them get all nice and I guess kind of fried up. Um, getting ready to put a few splashes of soy sauce on it. Um, I normally use coconut aminos, however, we are out of that for right now. So this kind of stays in the fridge and um, so that's what I'm gonna be using tonight. Okay, so now I've got my rice in and I am just going to let it cook and fry up and um, then I'll make another row right here, move it apart. Well, I'll move this around here in a little bit so that the top can get fried or whatever underneath too. But then I'll make a little pathway. I'll part the Red Sea <laughs> um, and crack some eggs in there 
And that will be the last step. I'll let those cook and then I will chop them all up and mix everything together at that point. Um, and it will be ready to serve. This is so super easy and it's really one of our family's favorite things. All right guys, so there you have it. That is what I made. I got one roasted chicken out of it, four quarts of spaghetti sauce, two meals worth of taco meat, a big batch of pinto beans, and a double batch of chicken fried rice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love if you would subscribe and push that notification bell down below so you'll know when there is a new video up. Thanks so much for joining us and make sure that you check out the playlist for the collaboration down below.